Thanks, Jim. Now here is an expert to help us get our homes in tip-top holiday shape. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the holidays are on our doorstep. Okay, well, maybe not our doorstep, but they are definitely on the street. And celebrity interior designer Tracy Metro is here to get us the latest trends for making our homes holiday party ready. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> Hi, Heather. They are. Break out those binoculars. You can see it right off in the distance, right? You're there like, it is. It's so, so close. <laughs> Tracy, I have to admit to you, this is our first year that we're actually going to host Christmas at our house, and I am terrified. I need your help. Please, <laughs> what tips do you have for us this morning? Okay, well, I'm super lucky that I work with great companies that allow me to share my ideas, and you have to do this, Heather. You need to go out and get a crazy glue precision control pen because you know things are going to break in your house. Things break in my house, and it's just the easiest thing to do so that when something does break, the party doesn't come to a screeching halt. You know, it can carry on. Here's why I love the crazy glue precision control pen. A, it precisely puts the glue exactly where it needs to be, and it's got these little pressure grips on it so that the perfect amount of glue comes out every single time you don't have excess glue and it's got a screw cap so that when you're done fixing the mug like I am right there the cap goes back on and the the glue is is ready for you the next time something breaks which is probably like in my house the next day it's also crazy glue's fastest setting longest lasting glue so it's really great for on the go fixes and look at me my mug works now I love it. Well, and I love that something can break. Maybe I can fix it before anybody even notices, which is wonderful during the holidays. So what other tips do you have for Stash us Stash it morning? in your junk drawer. You know, and they're like, no, I'm just going to write something down. You're doing it. <laughs> um, you're hilarious, and I'm absolutely going to do that. Um, I know that some of us want to try to tackle some bigger projects. Is that even something we should be thinking about right now? Absolutely. You've got two months. Really, it's a long time. Most people think when they're going to do a fun, big redo, springtime, especially flooring, they're like, springtime, spring cleaning, new flooring. Not a great time, Heather, because it's damp then, which means the flooring doesn't easily become acclimated to your home, and then it can buckle and not be great down the road. Fall, I think, is a fantastic time because the weather is so consistent, and it's typically dry, which allows the floor to easily become acclimated to the home. Though most people don't really care the best time to lay the flooring. They just want cute flooring, right? Here's what's trending, because I got you covered there, too. Wide planks. And when I say wide planks, I mean between, like, 5 and 7 inches. This right here is 5 inches. If you go with a really, really wide plank floor and a dark floor, it just weighs the room down. So 5 to 7 inches is really, really just such an optimal size. Also, light colored. Right here, you're seeing the Whitewash Morningstar Pearl City Bamboo by Lumber Liquidators. The reason I like the light flooring, especially in the kitchen, is because it hides dirt. I have black floors. You see every single thing. Light flooring, it, it just masks all manner of dirt. Now, as long as you're in the kitchen and you're doing some fun things, and we're not talking about a whole massive makeover, new flooring, maybe a new countertop. Everyone thinks that's really where the, the great design elements are. But I am here to tell you that you can install a sexy sink and completely change the look of your kitchen. And yes, this is one sexy sink. This is by LK. This is the Crosstown line. And why I love this is because it works in a modern kitchen. It works in a traditional kitchen, a transitional kitchen. It's like it's a chameleon of a sink. And you could drop it in or you could do undermount. Now, if you drop it in, oftentimes you'll find like the way the, the rim of the sink connects to the counter isn't so beautiful. But this is so slim. It's such a low profile that when you go to brush the crumbs into the sink, it just very easily goes. It doesn't collect. All this funk doesn't collect around the edge of the sink. Now, also trendy are farmhouse sinks or apron style sinks. And LK has a retrofit for that, so you can change the, there you see it, you can change the entire look of your kitchen without actually having to change out your cabinets. Okay, I love a sexy sink, Tracy. <laughs> you have given me right? such confidence that I can actually do these home improvements before I have all of my family over for Christmas. Now, is there anything else you want to leave us with today? Any more tips or where we can go for more information? Well, maybe a touch-up of the repainting is a good thing to always freshen up a home. You can head over to my blog, DomesticCircus.com. Awesome, Tracy. You are so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, this morning. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, Heather. Now stay with us. We have more Morning Blend right after this.